Hello, my darling viewers. How are you all doing? Hmm. You guys should please come closer because I've got a very hot gist for you. Have you ever seen Sune Uchi this emotional in movies? Like, of course, you know, we have definitely seen Sune Uchi very emotional in movies. But my darling, but my darling, this one seems so different. So different. I really, really watched the movie from the beginning to the end. My dad and I can tell you for a fact that the movie seems so different. Very different. You might be asking, what is really going on? Now, let me tell you guys something. Uche is someone that is very emotional. Like, you should, she can act, she can defend her role, she can really interpret her role to the core. But my darling, this one seems so, so different so different it seems like suna uche really really portrayed something that she's really going through or she has passed through before that is what i'm telling you like the movie really portrays suna uche's real life story like in the movie the movie like she was she was actually portraying like the emotion seems so so real like she was really really showing the emotion from deep down of her mind like my darling hmm. <laughs> draw your seat closer because i've got gist for you hello my darling viewers my beautiful souls how are you all doing depending on your time your location wherever it is you're listening to me from please receive my greetings of course you know who is speaking my name is christian and you all are welcome back again to this amazing channel christian media tv where we get to give you guys hot hot gist about your celebrities most especially marie sam and sonia uche that seems to be the trending hot duo in nollywood right now yes like i said earlier draw your seat please draw your seat closer get your tea get your coffee give whatever your popcorn of course and come closer because of course i've got just <laughs> hot hot cheese all right let me give you a story of how this really really came up to like how i really really um came up with all this now my darling viewers i was really going through my reels on facebook this evening yeah and um i was like let me see what's really going on on facebook and i came across i i bumped into a reel or a clip from a movie now when i when i viewed the clip i was like jesus i've never seen someone which is this emotional in the movie my dear i really cried in this movie Hmm. you know that as a man i have to just package <laughs> but my dear if it were to be you if you are a female listen to this particular content right now if you go watch this movie if you don't cry my dear you must be a very strong person the movie is so so emotional i am not being paid to really um promote this movie though no i am not being paid to promote the movie i'm only doing it for free but that's not the case i am not even doing it for money but i am doing it because of the movie the movie is so emotional like so great so educating like you want to know the movie right i know your ears are itching you want to know yes i know you now you want to know what's really going on in this movie of course i will explain to you guys now it all happened that sonia uchi got married in this movie now let, I, before i i start up with what really happened i'm not trying to explain what really happened in the movie but just a summary you know you understand just a summary just i want to just tell you people give you a clue of what you're gonna expect in the movie i want you guys to go see the movie it's very interesting go 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 see the movie now i want you guys to understand something it really happens not like men do not go through those things too but it really happens to women i don't know that i don't know why women are always being carried away with little material things i am not really generalizing it please don't come for me but i know that majority of ladies are being carried away with men's material gifts when a man gives you a material gift maybe a man buys you a car or buys you a wristwatch or for you forget wristwatch it's really really little or buys you the latest iphone you feel the man really loves you see all that glitters are not gold i'm just gonna tell you the truth all that glitters are not gold and secondly you don't know what you are what you have until you lose it people used to say it you don't really know what you've got or what you have at your sleeve until you lose that thing my darling the movie the movie give it up for uche mbunabo give it up for uche mbunabo i am really giving up giving it up for uche mbunabo it's really great the movie was so real so she acted it so real like if you watch this movie if you see the movie like you will tell that sonia uche acted the movie with an existing emotion 
I'm telling you, she took the emotion to a very greater level. I see if that is, is, that is a real life story that she or someone related to her must have gone through. She cried. Hey, God of mercy. My darling. Okay, let me just tell you what really happened. Now, in the movie, I'm not really going to tell you everything, please. So you don't get bored watching the movie. Now, the movie is all about Sune Uche being carried away with love. That's someone really bested upon her. Now, she got married to this man, but the marriage was in a mess. The marriage was a havoc. Every day, it was really a problem. My darling, go see the movie. Go and watch the movie. The movie is really, really interesting. I'm not going to explain to you guys exactly what happened in the movie. I'm just giving you a tip of the highest, but just go see the movie. Hey, Jesus. Oh, my God. I'm giving it up for, the, for Uche Mbunabo. And Sonia Uche, who really acted the movie? You need, to, you need to see what Blossom did to Sonia Uche in this movie. You already, you guys already know the guy now. Blossom Chuku J. Kuna. You already know the guy. You really, know, you really need to see what he did to Sonia Uche in the movie. Jesus, without the help of Stan Nze in this movie, I don't know what Sune Uche would have done. I don't know. Many people go through this in their marriages and they still keep quiet. I wonder, why would you go through emotional problem? Why would you go through domestic violence and you keep quiet? What's going on? This country, this is 21st century and this is Gen Z's. I don't see reasons why you still have to tolerate the things that, of course, we know that in those days, our parents don't do this to our, 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 our themselves. Our fathers don't do this to our mothers. I don't know where all this emotional domestic violence started from. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We really need to go back and learn from the old Dean Day's parents. Old in this marriage, marriage of 50 years ago, marriage of 70 years ago, marriage of 60 years ago, go back and learn. Yes, some ladies can be a pain in the neck, I understand. Some guys can also be, but definitely we should always know how to tolerate them. That's why I always suggest people going for marriage curse, though it doesn't really help. Most people don't really listen to this the things that they could that, that they are being taught there but then again try as much as possible to put them into practice it will sure help all right my darling viewers thank you very much for watching and please go see the movie the movie was posted one year ago and to think that the movie was posted one year ago and still seems to be a, like a movie that post, that was posted a few days ago it seems so fresh to me of course all right my darling viewers i love you guys for your for your support for your care for your love for your comments i see is i see you thank you very much and see you guys in the next video Bye bye